we're going to go ahead and start the next talk. So if you're in the back and you want to see, you can go ahead and move this way. And I know we've got a couple of people here on Twitch as well. Um, so I've had the pleasure of working with Rick for, let's see, how many years has it been now? Probably. As long as you've been, been there. I've been there nine that's years. That's probably been five years for me. And mm -hmm. I think so. But uh, the team affectionately knows Rick as Uncle Rick. Uh, he is full of wisdom <laughs> and is, is a great person to talk to if you ever have questions about uh, InfoSec, but then also just life in general. And so um, as a manager, I know uh, burnout is a really hard thing to manage and to track. Um, and in InfoSec, everybody always wants to pop the box and to, to compromise the client. And, and it's, it's uh, really easy to pull 80 hour weeks if you're not careful. And that can be fun for a little bit, but can quickly lead to burnout. And so Rick's gonna be sharing about ways that he's learned, I think personally, but also as managing a team to avoid burnout. So everybody please welcome Rick to the stage. Thanks guys. Uh, so yeah, so I'll get started here. A little bit about me. Uh, I've been in InfoSec and in IT in general for uh, well over 30 years. Uh, I started out as a support uh, with a degree in computer science. Then I moved into uh, actually doing coding, was a coder for many years, and then I moved over here to SecureWorks and security. So I've been around the block a few times. Um, I'm probably a little older than most of the people in the industry at uh, over 50. Uh, I've actually got a grandson. Yeah, that's kind of a weird thing to say. So um, anyways, we'll just jump right into it. So, you know, Chinese New Year, year of the rooster, year of the, the rat, year of everything else. Well, in 2020, they came out with a new one. Oops, sorry, my phone must have timed out. Hang on just a second. Did it work? Come on. Hang on just a second. I have a little technical issue. Oh, retry. There we go. Oops, a little too much. And 2020 is now named the year of the floating dumpster fire. So obviously everybody had a bad year last year. We were all in our lockdown and everything else. Um, you know, one question I'm gonna ask everybody, show of hands, how many people here took all of your available vacation time that you were allotted uh, by your employer? Anybody? Did anybody? See one person? Anybody else? Couple of maybes? Kind of close, close, okay. Well, here's some stats. Um, and it's a little hard to see. I'm going to turn around here. Last year, there were 705 million total unused vacation days annually. Now, these numbers are from 2017. I did some research. 52% uh, of American employees have unused vacation time. Uh, in 2017, 212 million vacation days got forfeited annually. What that means is, is if you don't take every single day that you have allotted to you, you're leaving money on the table that your employer owes you. Okay, and taking vacation is critical to, uh, hey Josh, how's it going? <laughs> it's critical to being, uh, getting that burnout avoidance, okay? So those are some stats we came up with. In our team personally, we had, uh, we have about 100 consultants. We had some number of people that had taken as little as eight hours in the year 2020 uh, and around between January and October, okay? So that's not a good place to be from a mental health status. So let's talk about, and apologies, my phone keeps locking up here. So what is burnout? Well, burnout is a state of fatigue or frustration brought about by deviation, by devotion to a cause, a way of life, a relationship that failed to produce the expected reward, or it was when long-term exhaustion meets diminished interests. Okay, we've all kind of experienced in our lives. I know I've experienced it personally. I've said, you know, I've gotten angry. I've gotten frustrated. Little things set me off. That's what's burnout. But what we need to do is we also need to define what is stress. Stress is short term. Stress is something that is uh, going to happen over a very short period of time, cause you problems. Uh, stress might be getting a, getting a project done on time, getting assigned a project that you don't enjoy. Uh, things like that. So really stress is a relatively short term, feels like work out of control, happens several days in a, in a row. So stress is related to burnout. 
but stress and burnout are two distinct things, okay? So keep that in mind. It helps to understand what you're doing. Uh, okay. So what are the signs of burnout? Well, something is uh, you're seeing a negative and critical ad attitude towards work. I've had it, you know, multiple times. I've said, hey, look, this sucks. This isn't any fun. I don't like it. You dread going into work. Oh, I don't want to get up today. I've got a vision problem. I can't see myself coming into work. Anybody ever had that? That is a, that is a sign of burnout. Uh, you know, you're absent from work. You're being irritated easily. Uh, you have physical complaints, headaches, illness, not feeling well. That's your body telling you, hey, it's time to take a break. So how do you avoid it? Well, alcohol is a solution, but it's not the answer. You know, a lot of us drink quite a bit, do go out and do things we probably shouldn't be doing. Don't rely on alcohol to uh, help your problems. But really what you can do is what I call look, ask, remember. Look at the good things you're doing helping your customers and your teammates. You're doing a web application assessment and all you found was a cross-site scripting vulnerability. That is something that almost very few people in the entire world can do. It's something you should be proud of. It's something you're capable of doing and you should take pride in the work you're doing, okay? So it really helps over the last year for me personally to go look back and look at all the good things we've done, all the things we've done inside and outside of our work to be accomplished. How can you reconnect with work? What can you give do, do to give more meaning? Uh, could you do some research? Could you do things like that? And then remember that the very few people can do the things we do and give yourself tech, tech, credit for your technical skills. Josh, just getting started. He has to give himself credit for the technical skills he has. This, the talks we've seen earlier, uh, one of the gentlemen said something about, you know, you're important. You can say something to somebody. So you should share the things you found with your, your colleagues and your friends and say, hey, look, check out this cool thing I found. Because what's gonna happen is six months from now, they're gonna remember, hey, this guy told me about this finding. He's gonna run into some similar situation. He's gonna find this finding and he says, hey, look, I'm gonna go talk to my buddy over here and he's gonna know and maybe give me an idea of how to be successful in my test, okay? So that's a one way to reconnect. Uh, work with a purpose. And I'm sorry, this uh, this changing thing is not working very well. Uh, but then you can also take care of your work, take control of your work. Uh, use a to-do list or other tools to manage your time. I know a lot of you use OneNote. That's a great tool to do that. Um, and then the other thing you can do is we often avoid things just because they think they're too, too hard. Just get started. You'll find out that starting was the most difficult part. part. Personal experience. There was an event that I knew I had to go to. There's a lot of things that I had to get done before I could go to it. And it was just like, I wanted to go to the event, but it was a large pain in the butt to get it done. So I was dragging my heels. I finally got off the couch. I got started. It took me about an hour to get the things done that I needed to get done instead of the three hours that I anticipated. Went up to the event, had a great time. The point is, is at some point you're not going to want to do something. So really it helps just to get started. Um, the gentleman giving the presentation about how to give a good presentation, uh, he said, start with uh, the hook, beginning, middle, end, and climax, if I recall correctly. I might have got that wrong. Um, he wrote, you know, say, write, write that down on a piece of paper. And that's perfect. Take control of your work by getting started. Rationalize your workload. Delegate or ask for help. Okay, so this is a message for all the managers that are out there. This is something that I take really personally, is as managers, it's really important for us to be working with our employees to say, hey, look, do you have enough help or enough time to do the work you're being asked, okay? So the message for the managers that are watching this is like, hey, pay attention to what your guys are doing. And, uh, and you know, if they say, hey, I need help, then figure out a way to get them help. Sometimes you may not be able to give them all the help that they want, but some help is better than none. 
And it really, really helps when it comes time for everybody to be collaborative, okay? So very important. Uh, leaders should always uh, try to get the help. And for the people asking for help, realize that your leaders are trying to help you and they have resource constraints too. Uh, maybe you need, you think you need three extra bodies to help, they got you two. Or maybe they wanted, you wanted three, they got you one. Well, take the one and be happy with it and do the best you can, okay? There's resources, unfortunately, in the nature of the beast is that we're going to be doing that. Okay. Exercise, this is really critical. So we are generally in this industry salaried employees uh, and we're considered, you know, basically you're expected to work 40 or hours or more a week without overtime. But honestly, you, consultants should not be expected to work more than eight hours. And honestly, leaders should never ask their consultants to work more than eight, eight hours. A lot of people in this industry have this habit of like, hey, I've got to get this attack done. I've got to get this figured out. I got to make this thing work. That's fine, but you really do need to take a break. You need to get lunch. You need to go outside, get some sunlight on your eyeballs. Don't be afraid to uh, walk away from your desk for a little bit and get some, get some time off, get some exercise. Okay. Uh, again, I'm not an HR expert, but uh, that's my rule of thumb is, Make sure my guys are getting the time off that they need. Learn to manage stress. If you have to buy a voodoo doll, feel free. Uh, practice positive thinking. Think about all the good things you've done this week, all the good things you did last week, everybody you've helped, right? Those are the ways that you can help your uh, help yourself. And then give to others. Um, I strongly encourage you, you know, random acts of kindness. They don't have to be a big deal, just little things. Go out and help somebody. Donate your time. Donate your time to uh, to a local school that has a computer lab and maybe they want to need some help, you know, getting stuff set up. The things you do for those kids are, are going to be super helpful. Um, the other thing is, and I'm going to kind of skip, I'm going to talk about this slide in a second. The other thing is spend time with your family. For those of you that have small children, all of mine are grown, my, my youngest is 18, your kids are not going to remember when you figured out some really cool zero day. What they're going to remember are the times that you sat and played with them playing cars in the sandbox. What they're going to remember are the things that you did for them that you they, you, they asked you about. Personal story, you know, my dad, my dad, I just remember we want, I loved to go kneeboarding when I was a kid and uh, it was raining like crazy. I live up here in Seattle, but I really wanted to go and dad went to the effort of getting the boat out, dragging it, um, you know, an hour away, launching the boat, sitting in the boat while it's raining and taking me out kneeboarding in the rain. And that's one of the things I remember. I don't remember all the hours that he worked late doing his job or him coming in and, you know, working late hours. But I remember that he took the time to do the things that I wanted to do with him. And those are the things that we need to do as, a, as parents, okay? I promise you, guarantee you, that the work that you're doing today will be there tomorrow. And I guarantee you that you're going to look back, because I've done it, you're going to look back and you're going to say, hey, what happened? You know, I remember my son. I remember bringing him home, holding him in my arms. And then the next thing I know is like, dad, where's the car keys? You know, and not, you know, he's doing his thing. So you're going to realize as you get older that your kids are going to grow up way too fast. And, you know, it sounds cliche, but it's entirely true. So take the time to spend time with your kids, your family, and your friends. So in closing, you know, take pride in the good things, both inside and outside of work you've done this year. Spend time with friends and family when you can. It's getting harder. Um, vaccines are coming out, but hopefully that'll be better. Um, take breaks from work. You know, I promise you, it'll be there when you come back from vacation. I read an article yesterday. Uh, they talked about work guilt. In the US, a lot of people don't take vacation days because they experience what's known as work guilt. I'm gonna be gone for a week. I'm going to be out. My coworkers have to pick up the slack. Don't feel guilty about taking a vacation, okay? 
because you're going to come back more energized. You're going to come back and be able to be more effective. And your coworkers should not feel guilty about them taking vacation either. Okay. Make sure that you take the vacation you need to take, enable them to take the vacation they need to take. And for managers, it's critical that you take care of your employees and make sure they take leave. I mean, literally, there have been times when I've had to go to people and say, you need to take some time off. Get it scheduled. Let's get it on the books. Now, admittedly, we are we do limited vacation time, you know, and maybe you want to take four weeks and save some up and go to Australia. Okay, I get that. But as managers, we need to talk to people and say, hey, is this what you're planning to do? So that way you can then plan ahead and they know what's going on and everything else. Um, you know, anecdotally, I just came back from Mexico for t- from 10 days and it's the first vacation I had really taken in over a year. Okay, so keep those things in mind as managers. It's important for us to keep on top of our employees and say, hey, look, take your time off, get your breaks, do the things that you need to do for your mental health. Of course, there are HR policies in place. Sometimes they suck. So maybe we do things that are outside the policy to make it better for our employees. That's all I'm going to say on that because I don't want to get in trouble. So any questions, thoughts, conclusions? I think that was the last slide. And that's my lab. Sorry, guys. Oops. Okay, so last, really last thought is when we ask we're troubleshooting issues, you often ask, did you reboot it? Shut the computer off, turn it back on, right? When was the last time you did that for yourself? When was the last time you rebooted yourself and shut yourself off, disconnected from work, and spent time with your family and friends and relaxed and enjoyed life? Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rick. Uh, we're going to take a 10-minute uh, break, and then up next we have Eric Escobar um, speaking on software-defined radio hacking. And actually, I'm really excited with this one. It's going to be fun to watch. I think there's going to be some live demos, which will be crazy to watch in VR, I think. Um, so stick around. Our final talk will start in about 10 minutes. <laughs> 